Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for picking my little video to watch today. So it's the start of the week, so I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to eat for the next seven days. So it's Monday, so I've got a jacket potato, which has been in the slow cooker. I did do four, the other three are frozen. Lots of butter, black pepper and salt. Coleslaw, which is a luxury coleslaw from Sainsbury's, which I didn't realise, but that's made with fresh cream. So that's quite nice if you don't want mayonnaise. Grated red Leicester cheese with lots of pepper on there and a very, very hot chilli. I'm not too keen on chilli in my jacket potato, which I know is very strange, but um, I'm going to add some more habanero chillies on there and make it extra spicy. So, yeah, that is Monday night's tea. Tea is a Chinese-style chicken curry. Last week I had one from Sainsbury's. It was out of a tin and I really enjoyed it. I didn't like the chicken in it. But the sauce was lovely, so I thought I'm going to make my own. However, it is cheaper to buy it, really. But obviously with homemade things, you don't get all the processed bits of rubbish like palm oil and things. So it's a couple of cherry tomatoes, some sugar, fenugreek, garam masala, um, some curry powder that was already mixed, garlic, lots of onions, lots of mushrooms. I don't put peas in it for some reason. I don't like peas very often. Um... And then a little bit of milk, um, various of the spices, basically everything that I've got in the spice cupboard, and there's a few chilies in there, um, some sugar if I've not already said that. And then to give it a Chinese style taste, I've added some star anise, so there's two in there. I can't actually find them, so I'm hoping that I'm not going to crunch on them. So um, that gives it a little bit of an aniseedy taste, which I really enjoy. So yeah, that is my tea for tonight. So tea tonight is a homemade caramelised onion and goat cheese crustless quiche. What a mouthful. It's literally just come out of the oven, so underneath there's no, there isn't a base. It's homemade caramelised onions that are just sautéed in butter, salt, oil, and then at the very end when they start to brown, some really rich balsamic vinegar. And then I mix three eggs with some double cream, salt, pepper, mustard, good crumbly goat's cheese and then just put it in the oven for about 20 minutes it's still a little bit wobbly and it's starting to sink but it just needs to cool for 10 minutes and then anyway i'm just going to eat half of it but i'll show you what it looks like when it's plated up so this is what it looks like plated up there's literally a third of it it's a little bit runny or the goat's cheese is very runny which is fine but it tastes all right i've had a little nibble a couple of tomatoes with lots of white pepper on there and some tender stem broccoli with salt and pepper um, I've really wanted a, a low carb day, so yeah, I think that just does it. Tea is a lamb steak which is cooked medium, um, it's rather large, however I've run out of mint sauce, so I'm absolutely gutted. I was even very, very tempted to go to the neighbours and see if they'd got any mint sauce because I can't eat lamb without mint sauce, however I'm going to. Uh, I have got cranberry jelly which is Marks and Spencers, I've got buttered mange too and tender stem broccoli and then I've done leeks in a white cheddar sauce so that's just leeks that are boiled up. Did a little bit of fresh cream, grated some white cheddar, put some onion salt in there and some pepper, there's salt and pepper all over and then red cabbage which I pulled out of the freezer this morning so it's just cabbage, pork, brown sugar, apple, a little bit of apple cider so nice and sticky and very very tasty so yeah a gutted lamb dinner without my mint sauce. So I really didn't know what I wanted for my tea tonight, I didn't want lamb or cooked dinner or gammon or mash and I just came up with onion badgie so that's what I've got so I've got one onion badgie and one sweet potato and onion badgie. Mango chutney from Aldi, lime pickle, which is very hot, which is lovely, and then some cucumber and mint ritotto, I think that's how you say it. One sliced baby cucumber, two tomatoes, and pink pickle slaw, which is Sainsbury's, which is in my food holes. So, yep, yeah, and I've got a very, very large avocado snowball with lime. So, yep, yeah, that is my tea for tonight. Tea tonight is a recipe that I saw on one of my subscribers' channels. Jerry Allen, Cooking with Neighbours or something, I'll forget the name, sorry if I've just insulted you. But it was a chicken picante, which ever since I saw it, I thought I've been yearning for it. However, I've not done it quite as well as what she had. She's a brilliant cook and I'm a novice cook. But it's plain boiled basmati rice. I flattened half a chicken breast, I really did flatten it as well, and then powdered it with parmesan, 
gluten-free flour, salt and pepper, put it in a little bit of oil and some butter and then browned it a little bit and then just made the sauce with butter, lemon juice, capers and a teaspoon of white wine. Added some more, I think I added quite a lot of butter actually to make it more saucy because I do love my sauces, so it's like lemony, it's a bit spicy, and then I want my veg, I love my vegetables, but I just can't be bothered, I'm too tired today, so I've just added a handful of mushrooms in there, because it was a saucy sauce, I thought, well, the mushrooms will cook in there, so it's very tasty, so chicken picante for tea. So it's the last meal of the week, and I've had a big lunch, so um, in the freezing cold, but still had a big lunch, so it's just a snack at half eight at night, but it's a it's a slice of pizza that I bought in my shopping haul, which is a vegan pizza. Um, and I've topped it off with mushrooms, more tomatoes, and there's some basil oil on there as well, and some salt. Um, that dob, that mucky bit, <laughs> is New York Deli relish. Homemade potato salad, which is just mayonnaise, a little bit of vinegar, um, chive, onions, and a little bit of French mustard, and then I've just got a couple of chips because I wanted to try the chip shop style curry flavoured chips. Um, so yeah, that is my Sunday night's tea. Nothing exciting. I've had my veg and stuff t today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, please give me the big thumbs up. Leave a comment and I hope you're all safe and well.